a lot of speech or something prepared. No, I, I really don't. I'm just going to speak from the heart like I always do. Um, this is, what's going on right now is still so surreal to me. It, it, it still hasn't hit me what actually happened. I, I, for some I, for some crazy ass reason, I believe like I'm going to wake up and it's going to be like game four all over again. I'm like, shit, me down 2-1 still. But I, I swear, I keep feeling that because it's so surreal. And I was talking to my wife, and I'm like, babe, we did it. Like, you guys, um, you guys always see the finished product. And, uh, you know, when we step on the floor, you know, either 18 minutes before the game or if Kyrie's taking a long time to put two pair of socks on their shoes on, we come out at like 12. Uh, you guys see it from that point to the end of the game, but what you guys do not see is um, the hard work behind the scenes when all these cameras and all these lights and everything is not around. And I heard a lot of thank you, LeBron, today, and, um, you know, thanks for coming home and thanks for keeping your promise, but I, I really, uh, you guys really should be thanking all the guys up here, to be honest. Um, I'm, just, I'm just one man, I'm one man with a, with a plan, uh, with a drive, with determination, with will, uh, with a belief, a strong support system at home. Um, but I'm just one guy, and you know, I look over here and I look at Jordan McCray, uh, a young guy that came to our team, um, you know, from the D League and, you know, just automatically, you know, just bought into what we wanted to do. And, and, and he was ready to do anything that we asked from him. You know, being a young guy, and to, to my brother, uh, JJ, that I seen a lot of things when I, there's like LeBron James makes six straight finals appearances. Well, shit, James Jones made six straight as well. Hey. You guys never see Champ complain about playing time, complain about shots, complain about anything. And he's probably the most professional guy on our team. Um, JJ, thank you. Um, from Dante, Dante Jones, we just picked him up. He's the luckiest man in the world, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Two months ago. <laughs> Seriously, uh, true professional, you know, competing against this guy, you always knew that you got to be locked in. Um, every time he stepped on the floor, and then when he got on the team, just saw how great of a teammate he was, and also another guy that would give anything. And you guys saw that um, in our game, uh, our game six at home. J.R. Smith picks up three fouls. Iman Shumper picks up three fouls. RJ had three fouls at halftime, and. Uh, Coach Lou and myself and Kyrie, we had a lot of faith in Dante, and Dante had faith in himself and gave us a huge boost to close out that quarter in game six. So thank you, Dante. <laughs> Mo Williams, having Mo back. You know, me and Mo had some unfinished business last time we was together in 09 and 10, making it to the Eastern Conference Finals, losing to Orlando, making it to the second round, losing to Boston. And we went our separate ways. But when we had an opportunity to pick him up in the offseason, um, I think it was great for our team. And I'm happy to be able to share uh, this moment with Mo, share a championship with Mo, because we had unfinished business. So thank you, Mo. <laughs> to Young God, AKA Kyrie Irving, AKA Uncle Drew, Byrie, whatever y'all want to call him. This guy. He thought I was blowing smoke up his ass early in the season when I said he could be the best point guard in our league and also be an MVP in our league. Oh, uh, And I know every time one of y'all watched that finals, y'all saw what this guy is capable of doing. And he's only 24 years, oh my goodness. He's only 24. He don't reach his prime for another three years. Thank you, Kyrie. 
Captain J.R. Smith. You guys all heard the stories. False. Everything about JR is not a team player. You can't win with JR on your team. JR takes bad shots. Y'all heard them weak ass stories. But when our GM came to me and said that we had an opportunity to get JR Smith from the New York Knicks. By the way, the New York Knicks said it was just JR with a throw in, by the way. Um, yeah, really that to the side. But I was like, I would love to have JR Smith. I know J.R. Smith, and I know what he's capable of doing. And he showed not only, not only is he a hell of a three-point shooter, he's a hell of a defensive player as well, two-way player. Thank you, J.R. Smith. Shump. Want to thank Iman Shump, another guy that we got in that deal from New York, young, hungry, guy that would do anything. Last year, you guys don't even know this because we don't ever put out our medical reports about being injured or anything like that. Shump played all last year in the finals with his with partially torn groin and a partially torn shoulder last year. Uh -uh. You guys don't know that. Beast. Because it's not about that. We don't, we don't want sympathy. We just want hard work and dedication, and this guy right here will run through that, whatever, whatever the hell that is, that brick building right there, shove a run through it. Now, I don't know if he'd go hand first because he loved his haircut. 